sea are continuously removing sand from the Dutch coast, the reason why proper maintenance of the coastline is vitally important. We reinforce the coastline approximately every five years by depositing sand back onto the beaches. But could there be another, more efficient and durable way of doing this? Rex Vaterstaat, the executive arm of the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure and the Environment, and the province of South Holland are examining innovative ways of coastal maintenance and protection using the sand motor. This will all lead to the creation of more space for wildlife and recreation. In the summer of 2011, millions of cubic meters of sand were dredged up to form a peninsula with a lake at its center. Driven by wind and water, the sand motor has already started slowly spreading along the coast from the Hook of Holland towards Scheveningen. This is how we are helping nature protect the land behind the dunes from rising sea levels. We call this the building with nature principle. Depositing 21.5 million cubic meters of sand along the Dutch coast in just a few months was an enormous challenge. Dozens of people, including planners, project leaders, dredgers, ships captains and crews, all contributed to the creation of the CERN motor. They worked day and night, seven days a week, with a single aim in mind, that the sand motor would be properly built. They did this using the most advanced equipment, special ships, and the latest technologies. The sand motor is currently about 300 acres, space enough for 256 football fields. It is some two kilometers wide at this point and protruding one kilometer into the North Sea. It took four months to build the sand motor. The province of South Holland and the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure and the Environment are the initiators of the project. The project teams from the province of South Holland and Rijkswaterstaat met to discuss progress every week. The subjects discussed included communications, technical aspects, but also how the sand motor was actually working. Marine engineering contractors Van Oort and Boscalis, who built the sand motor, are world-class in their field. They used advanced equipment and monitored construction on a daily basis. It was a precision job. The sea and forces of nature are always unpredictable. With the sand motor now complete, it's time to allow nature lovers and the public in general onto this new piece of land. The currents flowing along the coastline have now been changed by the sand motor. This is why there is very close collaboration with life-saving teams. They have already carried out training exercises around the sand motor and are fully prepared to assist on this new and unique stretch of coast. Scientists 
at the Delft University of Technology will be keeping a close eye on the sand motor over coming years. They will monitor how this huge quantity of sand deposited in the sea by man will progress naturally as time goes on. The influences of wind, waves and currents will all be tracked. This is how we will learn more about building with nature. The sand motor was built by man. Now it's nature's turn to get busy. This enormous quantity of sand will gradually shift along the coast. It is anticipated that within the next 20 years, nature itself will add a further 35 hectare or 80 acres to the beach and the dunes. This will reinforce the coastline for the coming 20 years. The province of South Holland will also gain a beautiful new recreation and wildlife area. Everybody will be welcome to use it. The future will show whether the sand motor concept will work at other locations in the Netherlands and even the rest of the world.